So the float method is simply that we're going to measure the velocity of the water by timing how fast the float floating object goes from point A to point B, and then we'll take depth measurements of the water across the channel so that we can calculate the area of water that is in the channel. We've created a document that you can find on our website that explains how to do this process, as well as a worksheet that will help you fill in uh, the appropriate numbers so that you can calculate CFS of flow or discharge in an open channel. Tools that are good to have for this are a tape measure. You'll also want a stopwatch of some sort, a yardstick. You'll need three buoyant objects such as sticks and then stakes, uh, waders, if you don't want to get uh, too wet as you're going in the water. What we're going to do is get our timer or stopwatch. We're going to toss whatever measuring, uh, whatever device we're going to measure, whatever floating object, upstream of our upstream marker. We're going to put it out somewhat close to the center, and then we're going to hit start on our timer as it passes our upper marker, and then go down to our lower marker and press stop. We should probably do that, like I said, three times to get an average velocity. So my stopwatch says 8.76 seconds. So I'll write that down. Eight point seven nine seconds. Got eight point one one seconds. So if I add those three values together and divide that by the three measurements, I get the average of eight point five five. My measuring tape is twenty five feet from the upper to the lower marker. So now if I divide 25 feet by 8.55, I get 2.92 feet per second. Now that is the surface velocity of the water, and often uh, you will find that hydrologists and those that are working uh, doing flow measurements will recommend to take a percentage of that to lower the value because the water uh, at less shallow, at shallower depths is moving less quickly. And so I'm taking 85% times 0.85 of that value and I get 2.48 feet per second. Next, we're going to measure the depths across the channel at approximately one foot intervals to get an overall average depth across the width of the channel. We also need to measure the width of the surface of the water across the channel as well. The width is approximately 43 feet. Here it is reading about 1.1 feet. Go about another foot. I can take and add up all of the depths readings that I took across the channel and then divide that number by how many uh, depth readings I took. So I come up with an average channel depth of 1.1 feet. Now to get the square feet then of the water, I simply take the depth times the width. We measured 43 feet across, so 1.1 times 43 gives me 47.6 square feet. So it's CFS is area times velocity. So 47.6 feet of area 
times our 2.48 feet per second gives us 118.1 CFS of water as an estimate currently flowing in the Logan River.